M0FXB, welcome to my channel, learning the G90, made by Zygu. Excellent transceiver, 20 watt, ATU, SWR meter, and CW decode, and lots more. A lot of hidden features within these buttons. So anyway, this one, this video is about the comp button. See the comp button and the function button. So we've got the comp, if you press it, an emblem will appear above the frequency. So let's just press it again, and it's gone. Okay, it's now gone, press it again and it comes back, and this controls the comp, which is here in purple. Now at the moment, if we turn the function knob, it won't change the comp, because if you hold and press it, it's been told to do the squelch, and normally you'd find it on your frequency. Let's hold it again. So, how are we going to adjust this purple comp? So let's press it, or compression. Now let's turn it, and can you see, now we're able to adjust it. And there's a frequency there and you can play around and and see what you like you know what works for you As you can see the scope has been is even better with the latest firmware 1.79 now let's press it again because it's going to go from the sort of purpley pink to a blue color and now we can change that okay and you can see a little figure here as well we are changing that i think the figure that matters is the one above so that's it now if you want to return back to what the function knob does just push it Okay, and then, oh no, push it again. I think we have to hold it. There you are, hold it. And now you're back to changing the frequency. But if you want the function knob to change something else, watch this. Hold it, and now we got frequency, RF gain, squelch. Let's do squelch, okay? Press and hold to come out. Now look what happens on the screen when I turn the function knob. The squelch is going up and down. See it in green here. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look what other functions we've got there. Squelch, frequency, RF gain, FFT, so that'll be able to say the, the screen sort of sensitivity. I think that's quite a handy one. I'll probably try that one next. Key speed, yeah, for CW. Is that power level, I'm guessing? Squelch level, yeah. So let's do the FFT. I think that'll be quite a useful one. So let's just adjust it. It's saying it's on auto there. So I'm not seeing a big change there, really. But anyway, that's what it's meant to do. If we press it again, put it back to, let's try power then. There you are, 20 watts. So that's a nice easy way of changing your power. So you're gonna get a lot of use out of this function because they've put in some of the common functions there, like squelch is an obvious one. I'll leave it on frequency because that's the one I probably use the most. Let's turn it up. See who's about. If you want to move this over, just push the VFO knob. Still too fine, too much. Try that. It gets highlighted in black. Oh yeah, I should have said you press, it's the VFO, when you press the VFO, you move it along the frequency here. If you've got frequencies selected here, it's 100k steps, so you're going to you're going to change it in big steps. So that's it, bye for now, this is the video is about the comp button, 7-3, all the best.